In this video, we're going to be doing synthetic division. Synthetic division is amazing. It's way faster than long division um, and super helpful. So in order to divide ax to the third plus bx squared plus cx plus d by x minus k, you use the following pattern. So here, you take the coefficients of the dividend, right, which is these pieces right here, and you're going to perform this pattern. So you bring a down, and then you every time you move a diagonally, you multiply by k, you multiply by this. And then vertically, you're always adding. So everything you do is adding vertically, and everything diagonal is multiplying. This is our remainder. And this piece right here is going to be our coefficient of our quotient. So let's do an example, because I promise it's going to make so much more sense, and you're going to just love it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our problem. It says 4x, uh, sorry, x to the fourth minus 10x squared minus 2x plus 4, and we're dividing them by x plus 3. So notice here that we're missing an x to the third term. So we need to make that a 0x to the third. So what we're really looking at here is x to the fourth plus 0x to the third minus 10x squared minus 2x plus 4. Because you can't have any of your degree spots vacant. It's got to have something in there or it's just not going to work. So the next thing we're going to do is we need each of the coefficients. Now remember that here we have right an imaginary 1 because that's 1x to the fourth. So we're going to have our 1. Then here we have a 0. And then for our squared, we have a negative 10. And then for our x, we have a negative 2. And then for our constant, we have a 4. So just to kind of go over what this is, this is like the x to the fourth, x to the third spot, x squared spot, x, and the constant spot. Okay? And now we're going to divide that by k. But we're like, whoa, what is k? So what we're going to do is this x plus 3, we actually are going to take that and set it equal to 0 and solve. So it says x equals negative 3. And this number right here, that's the number that is our k value. So we're going to put negative 3 right there. And now we are ready to do this problem. So we're going to start by bringing down our 1, because there's nothing to add with it. Then we're going to multiply. Okay, we're going to multiply. So negative 3 times 1, and we're going to put it right here, is negative 3. Then we're going to add these, and 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. Now I'm going to do negative 3 times negative 3, which is going to give us a positive 9. So now we're going to add, and when we add that, negative 10 plus 9 is a negative 1. And now we're going to multiply what is negative 3 times negative 1. And that's going to give us a positive 3. Okay, positive 3. Then we're going to add those. Oops, my 1 disappeared. Let me go ahead and get that back real quick. And then negative 2 plus 3 is a 1. Now I'm going to multiply 1 times negative 3, and that is going to give me a negative 3, and now I can add those. Now I can add those, and 4 plus negative 3 is a 1. So you're like, ah, what's happening here? Promise, it's, it's going to get easy right here. I'm just going to move it up so we have some more room. Okay, so remember how I said that this was the x to the fourth spot. It moved over. Okay, so we kind of get rid of that spot. So this is going to represent x to the third, x squared, x to the constant, and this is our remainder. Because the whole point of dividing it was to take it down a degree. Okay, so what we're really looking at here is we're looking at 1x to the third minus 3x squared minus x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 3. Now remember we got that from up here. And so this right here is our solution. See how much faster that is? 
than doing the long division. Like we already have our answer. And so a lot of it is just knowing how to manip like not manipulate, but deal with those leading coefficients and how the answers come back for us as new leading coefficients. And probably the most important thing to remember is that if you start with an x to the fourth here, you're going to finish with an x to the third. So every layer you go, it takes a degree away.